Hi folks, this is Lauren from Fast Office Computer Training and we're just here just to do some uh, VLOOKUP functions in this video. Uh, this is the going to be the result of, uh, this, this um, worksheet is going to be the result of what we're going to do in the, the practice worksheet here. Okay. Um, so what we, we're going to end up happening is we're going to be able to select an item from the vent list of items from the vendors and we're going to see the effect that their price is going to have. We can change an item number here, we can change the, the, uh, that to 250 if I wanted and we would see the result of that change if I had um, breaker 123 selected over here. So the, the important thing is this is never going to change okay um, but these can change, the prices can change, and we'll see the effect. So let's, um, let's set that up. First of all, I want to create a list, uh, the ability to select from a list of items, and that's just simply I'm going to select all of these fields um, where I want to make that selection, and click on Data Validation. That's in the Data tab, Data Tools group, data validation. I don't need to click that down there. I'll just click data validation and I get this list. Okay. So I, I have chose under allow the list and the source. Uh, I can actually type items in here, but um, the items I'm going to select are going to be changing every once in a while. So I don't want to have to go back into this data validation box to, to make those changes. Um, I just want to make them once and they'll be reflected in my list. Click OK. And now I can choose items from this list. Oops. Honestly, there we go. Now I want to um, purchase 10 of these. I'm just going to use 10 because it's an easy number to check our, our, our formulas with. And, um, and basically what this formula is, is just simply uh, equals, so I always put equals this times that. Okay. However, the problem with doing that is, um, is if I change this, I don't see the change over here. So I want to be able to change the item number and see the effect over here. So. Um, I would have to go into each of these cells and do the, you know, that ohm times 10, then amp time, you know, the amps price times 10, etc. So that's not going to work for me because I'm lazy. I want to be able to just create a formula that does it all for me. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create what's called a VLOOKUP formula. And now I can go up to formulas, look for VLOOKUP reference. There it is. It's under lookup. Um, and uh, I, I can just select it from there. And um, but I and then I can or I can use the, the function, insert function dialog box. Um, but I'm just going to enter it in so you can learn how to use it. E equals VLOOKUP. You, you're not required to to uh, use those the function drop up down lists or anything like that you can just type in a function okay um, I don't need to use caps I can use small letters it doesn't matter um, it'll change it to uh, Excel will change that to all caps I want to press enter um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up and this is how this this formula look works I'm going to choose a lookup value, okay? I'm just going to move this down a bit so we can see. So I'm going to cho look, choose a lookup value that's right there. And I'm going to say, then I'm going to put, sorry, um, then you would put a comma there. And then the next section is the table array. The table array is the table where or the location of the information that you want 
um, that you want. Okay. Um, so this is uh, I've got breaker one two three. Um, it's going to look up for buzz electrical. Okay. So this is the uh, that breaker one two three is in that table. I can include everything. I don't need to just include you know just for that one column. I can include the entire table. Okay. The next step is to make sure that we lock the um, reference of that table in place so that when we move this formula the reference will not change. Actually we need to do that for the B4. Um, if I copy this formula to the right I don't want the B to change to a C but I do want the 4 to change to a 5 when I copy it, the, the formula down. Okay, So I'm only going to lock the B but in this case for the table reference I want to lock the entire table then I'm going to press comma and I just did press comma you're going to press comma um, then I'm going to then what you would want to do is insert the column index number so in this case the, the buzz electrical is the second column this is the first second column what I've done here is I've put two three four above the name of the um, electrical comp or the the suppliers and I'm just going to reference that cell. Instead of typing 2, I'm going to reference that cell. And uh, so that when I copy it over, that the, this will be referencing that, and that will be re then it will be referencing that. So, um, but when I copy it down, I don't want it to, to change. I don't want the 2 to change to a 3. It needs to stay in that row. So I'm just going to lock the row reference, but not the column reference. And finally, uh, there's this uh, true or false question. Um, tr true if it's a pro an approximate match. So this would be for um, a different purpose if you needed to, um, you know, grades. I know as, as, an, as a teacher, I use the approximate match if I wanted to find um, the grade letter for a student and he's got 85 and um, or she's got, you know, 86 that that'll still be a, a B plus until um, they you know 87 88 89 uh, and then 90 would be an A okay so that's the approximate match in this case we're going to use false it's going to be an exact match I could have just typed that I double clicked on false and now I'm going to close the bracket and I've got my lookup all right so again um, here's the lookup value right there that's the B the blue one the table array over here the column index number right there I can have just written typed in two which is what most people do and then range lookup is the uh, true or false is it is it um, exact or or approximate all right so here I go press enter and I got 250 all right which is great. So if I change this to box 555, it says $50. So box 555, $50. Okay, if I change it to wire 333, it should say $44. And that's the VLOOKUP is working. Okay. So I'm going to just change it to breaker 1 to 3. Um, obviously, we want this to say $25. Uh, so we're not quite finished yet. All I need to do at this point. So I'm just going to press F2 to edit that uh, formula and I'm going to type in star for times 10 and when I press enter we should get the product of that multiplication which is $25. So 250 times 10 is $25. All right. Now I should be able to just copy that across and find out how much it would cost for us to buy it from um, ohm again and um, amp up. Actually, there's a bit of a mistake here. So let's um, let's find out. Let's uh, troubleshoot this. So it says B4. I'm gonna F2. So I'm gonna let's just just zoom in so I can have a better look at this. So let's troubleshoot this. 
Um, oh, I know what the problem is. It's the C4. So if I just press, I don't want the C to change to a D when I copied across. So I'm just going to enter a dollar sign. I, I could have just pressed F4 until there was a dollar sign in front of the C or the column reference. Um, or I just put typed it in. Okay. So now let's try it again. And now we get the correct results. Okay. So it's always good to test your, your formulas. Um, I just forgot to lock the column reference here and now it's fixed. And I'm kind of glad I did that so you can see um, what the result would be. Again, I'm going to um, just give uh, 10 quantity here and I'm going to copy this down. Okay, so what is the price of, of box 555? I'm going to zoom out again. Box 555 is $50 times 10 is 500. So it's working, okay? Um, so I should be able to just copy this down. Uh, but what happens if there isn't any data here and here, I get a, an NA error, okay? Even if I put this, I'm gonna get a zero error, okay? Um, so I can just delete that. So what I want to do is, it, it's a really, actually really simple um, function that you can enter um, in at the beginning of any of your functions. So if error, uh, and, and I'm just going to enclose the entire function into this if error function. Um, so if error, if you can see the value, this is the value is the entire function and, and value of it. So if that function returns an error, this is what it's going to return is, is um, two quotes. And two quotes just means it's going to return a blank cell. All right. So just press enter, copy that across using autofill. Autofill, you can only go across or down can't do a diagonal. So there we go. There's, um, there's my fill. These are now blank cells. Even though there's a formula in there, it's considered a blank cell for the purposes of the, the sum function or any other function. Okay. Um, because blank cell is the result of this if error. Um, so now I'm going to uh, go wire 444. I'm going to get 40 quantity of that and I can just keep on going down. All right, so that's um, that's say the VLOOKUP function um, and I know that I've seen this in an office um, it's being used. You can um, use the VLOOKUP with Office 2016 I believe um, with 2013 as well. Uh, you're able to um, look up a value in a different sheet, whereas 2010 and before you couldn't look up a, you, a value that was in a different sheet. You had to put these values into the same sheet. Okay. Um, so there. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, comments, uh, please leave them below in the comments section underneath the video and I will try to answer um, when I have a chance, okay, as quickly as I can. I um, hope you have a great day. Again, this is Lauren from fastofficetraining.com, and uh, cheers.